Hey there, rock stars. Eric Andres, your guitar sage here. I first wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time to fill out the one question survey that I just uh, put up on Facebook in regards to what lesson you want me to teach it next. Uh, this is a video that I've created for you that basically talks about pick control. So uh, right hand or, or picking hand pick control. Okay, this is a problem that a lot of folks do not emphasize enough, don't focus enough attention on, and unfortunately a lot of guitar teachers don't teach this, and it's a technique that I have found that has helped my students get the most improvement, especially when it comes to right hand. But obviously, left and right hand need to work together, and if the right hand isn't doing its job, it doesn't matter what you're doing uh, fretting-wise. So, this video covers that, and it's a really super simple technique on how to get ninjified with the right hand in regards to picking, okay? So, check it out. Okay, I'm going to show you a really cool exercise today for practicing your string skipping or pick control and actually fretting hand control as well. So this is an exercise that's based off of the exercise where we were doing two notes per string um, when we were doing like this. It was a great exercise for working the third and fourth finger and the second and third and the first and second. But this is a great strength builder and dexterity builder for the third and fourth finger. Okay, we're gonna up it a step today by doing string skipping. Okay, so in this case here, I want you to start on the high E string and you're going to pick three and four and it'll be down, up. Okay, then you're gonna skip to string three and go down, up. Go to string two, down, up. String four, down, up. String three, string five, string four, string six. So it should look like this. Great exercise for working both hands and then work it back. Huge strength builder. You're going to feel this the first time that you do it, okay? So string skipping is great because it really challenges you to have to keep up with what's going on over here, okay? And these exercises are really important. You want to make sure that you do them at least some. I'd rather have you playing songs and practicing towards something that you could play at a show or something like that. But these exercises are great because they pull you outside of your comfort zone and challenge your hands in ways that songs may not. So make sure they have a good mixture of both. Don't play your scales and these exercises all day long and then not play music. Music is meant to be fun. It's meant to, to fulfill you and make you happy and to make you sad and to emote. It's a, emotion put to music, put to notes, okay? So make sure you do that. Make sure you do these exercises every now and then, but there's a great one for string skipping. 